Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasti and welcome back to Belt Glass Factorio, where we have lots of rails instead. And uh, last time we built up our mall up here, which does not yet produce too much things because we are lacking input. And if we are looking here, we have a long line waiting for red circuits. Uh, so then let's have a look uh, why we have issues with red circuits or green circuits for that matter. If we look here, we have two trains, both are waiting for uh, either green circuits or copper wires. How does it look here? Copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, copper wire, fueling. So, might be that copper wire is a bit of an issue. So, let's have a look. Yeah, the delivery stations, they are awaiting uh, uh, copper, but all the loading stations are full. And as I can see here, the chests are basically empty. That means uh, we should see here for a copper wire 1.2 thousand per minute, um, but that's basically the same amount that we are using. So if we would produce more copper wire, we probably would produce more green circuits, more red circuits. So, today we want to focus on uh, uh, this first and maybe part of the problem might be that um, our copper field here, I mean the, the lower one here that's pretty good, but up here we do have a bit of uh, an issue. Um, where a lot of the of the miners have run out of ore, so we are not filling the train as fast as uh, we possibly can. Um, so let's fix that, and then we will see about a new setup for copper wire production. Right, that should help, at least a bit. Um, we do have some or we should have some room here where we had um, a bit of uh, um, red uh, circuit production, green circuit production down here. Everything has moved. Uh, save this one station here which is already almost uh, done anyway so i think we will reuse this square here and set up a new factory for copper wire um in this setup and I did mention that for the green circuits we do have a problem here because the, the uh, creation of the green circuits is so fast that we do not manage to pass the uh, iron back here fast enough so all the machines are working. Um, but with green circuits we have two input materials with copper wire we only have one so we don't have this weird setup where we have to cross over and can have one line with stack inserters which have a higher throughput 
And then on top, I think, instead of with this setup, we could go with this setup, where we have three dedicated lines only for copper, and then basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's say we had 12 assemblers here, so we could take one line, uh, four assemblers, four assemblers, four assemblers. And that way we should get enough throughput uh, in order to, uh, uh, for all uh, assemblers to, uh, to work um, in simultaneously uh, however we would then still have the uh, the problem with the with the output because for one copper plate we get two copper cables so not sure if the stack inserters then would be able to uh, uh, unload everything but that's a better um, problem to have than the other way so this one is now also finished so let's remove everything here so i can make room for this new setup once this train is out of the way we'll sort this out and build something new here the square here has emptied and the only awkward thing that still remains is this roundabout here on this side because that's about right where we will have our delivery stations. But let's turn off uh, the RoboPort and then let's see how we manage with that. Hmm. What you could do is basically have the, the line going through as well as the roundabout. That would probably work. Um, and up here we don't need this part. And Yeah, let's build this and then we will gradually uh, remove the parts uh, or replace them as we go along um, for what we need. And if I don't move over too far to the right, uh, the rail here will not be built and we should be good to be able to finish everything uh, in here and uh, only at the last minute and uh, uh, put in the rails because what we don't want to have here what can occasionally happen with uh, this blueprints um, copy things that you get train stop not like this one that has already trains assigned so even when building up your new factory setup uh, you already get a train especially if the train stop was the wrong one you get the wrong materials in um, so at least here with this one this did not happen might be because this was from a blueprint and not just a, a, a copy oh uh, yeah don't know about that but we will finish up here at this part and then go about and uh, rip out the things that we do not need and uh, as you can see from all the blue and red inserters that are missing here 
we really need our mall to start working producing those goods for us um also need quite a bit more of the uh wooden chests but let's see what we can do down here as well so i will build this up what we have here and then go about uh, rip out the things that we don't need in this setup and then uh, hopefully come up with uh, a solution that works better for our needs here. I have cleaned up the uh, input lines and up here we at least have all the chests down there we are still missing. But as we will rework the input anyway, uh, I guess uh, once we are done we will have some wooden chests to spare up here that we can place down there uh, and then uh, basically go about. So what we want to have here is fast stack insert or stack inserts and we counted 11 assemblers here in one line we have uh, three input lines so um, what if we go uh, four four and then have three at the end so that would mean we have one two three four and then we would basically remove this line we would bring this line up here and we can get rid of this line and we will need to move those here That was the last one there. Then we have one, two, three, four. And then this goes again. And we have basically this then going here. And of course, the whole thing here needs to be fast stack inserters here as well. Right. And then I have to do the same thing over on this side. And once that is done, we can basically copy this set up to down below uh, where we might even do this and that should help us with uh, with copying anything of the remainder so let me put this in place uh, finish up the lower print and then we can see about uh, input and output and hopefully how great this new setup will work everything is placed in and uh, rewired with this uh, staggering setup here 
So now we can actually set this train stop to be a copy of this train stop. Right? And do the same down here. And we should set up all these uh, assemblers for copper wire. Ooh, apparently one insert or missed. All right then. And we should already have, ah, the, the logic is still missing. And then this would become that. Loading. Need a bit of wiring here. And I think that one we can also copy. And let's copy the same thing up here. Only here we have the double amount of chests. And one more time up here. And I need to set up these factories and then the logistic on the delivery side. And then we should soon see this factory pushing out copper wires like crazy and that in turn hopefully boosts our uh, our uh, circuit production so we'll wait for uh, this to work and then finally have a look at uh, uh, the production on the circuit network All is working fine, and uh, if a train with copper arrives, uh, it's quite a bit of uh, action going on here. Uh, however, by the looks of it, we might have not enough trains delivering copper or picking up the, the copper wire, but I think that's because we do not have enough copper smelted. You can see quite a few trains are waiting loading here. And even this copper field where we directly smelt the ore, uh, not that big anymore. So maybe we need to hook up this ore, um, ore patch. Um, we will see, but if we look at the uh, production over the last hour, you can see previously we maxed out at 2.2k and now uh, that's basically the low point. If we get a delivery of copper, we are shooting up as high as... Uh, 4,000, but those are basically the, the peaks and now we are definitely out producing the demand. So if we uh, unmark this, uh, we can see here for the uh, uh, blue circuits, uh, green circuits, we still have this up and down but overall i would say we are producing more um, if we have a look 
over 10 hours yeah we see an upward trend there and uh, with that we also see uh, this this pattern here going on for the red circuits so i think we just need uh, to uh, to push more stuff in and probably do another uh, optimization uh, episode next time because this is it for today hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please consider leaving a like uh, do subscribe so you will see what we are up in the next one and until then goodbye